Alright uh, guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Um, let me tell you guys about this current situation. See my window? It doesn't want to roll up like... It fell off track like it'll hit like this little corner right here. So what I'm doing is taking off the door panel. Which I already started. So you got one bolt screw right here. You got one screw right here. You got another one right here. And there might be another one right here. So one, two, three, four. Um and we gotta remove this C clip. Somehow, I need to find a flat head or something, or like a pick tool. So, watch, let's move this. Man, this car is what I use for work too, so. And I need this because I've been going through the drive throughs and stuff. And it messed up when we were at a drive through Like I rolled it down and on the, once I left, I tried to roll it back up. And it didn't want to roll up. So, this is probably the first time this car is being taken apart. But, yeah. Give me one second. Alright, so I used this because I couldn't find a flathead or a pick tool. A little knife is pretty sharp to flick this C clip out. Like you just dig it in, pop it, and just slide it out. Once you hook it, you can just pull it out. So just don't cut yourself or find yourself a pick tool. So let's put this with all the other stuff. And see, once you do that, this pops out. It has a little washer. And I think we should be ready to pull it out. You know what I'm saying? Check out the kicks though. Got some red suede vans. What shoes y'all wearing today? Comment down below. Oh my god, do I have to take out the speaker? I don't want to. Let's see. Screw. Not bad. No more my hair because I'm growing out my hair. I'm trying to grow me a little man thing. See how that goes. I'm already getting tired of it. There's another screw right here. One, two, three, four, five, and this. See, so now we should be free. Just pop this out. I might have to pop this up too. Like this right here. be able to slide it out together. Alright, let's see. This clip right there is like, there you go. So we got that out. Let's go. Uh, speaker stuck. Leave it like this. Or we can unplug it. Damn, this thing is so rusty.
So let's see. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's supposed to be right here, but it's behind it. So our job is to loosen this bolt right here. And I think it's this one right here. So you can open it up a little bit and slide it back in the truck. All right, so I, I took this off for the speaker. Some people don't have OEM speakers, so you probably just have to pop the plugs up, like the butt connectors, but mine's OEM, so you got this little connector. Just squeeze and wiggle and pull. So let's tuck that in. Get the 10. So see, I got it loose. I think I can move it already. So let's see. So as you guys can see, if you have the same problem, it will require fell off the track. So you guys can see. Once you kind of slide it in. Oh, this loosen up the top so we have a little bit more play. Okay. Oh my god. I'm just trying to get that off. The rubbers sit like the window the actual glass to sit in the the rubber so I won't have any issues later. Let me just put you guys down for a bit. So I got it in the track. Let's see. Still a little like pinched on the rubber part, but this side is not. So what we're gonna do, I tighten up that. I pull this as hard as I can so the window could be in the track. I didn't even check this side. Should be alright. Um, let's just take this back in and just turn it. So you can see it kind of binds right here. So I don't know what's going on with that. Just, maybe it's just because I pinched it last time. And the window messed up. It's okay, so. The window's not even for some reason. Oh, let's see. Fuck, bro. Okay, so the window's up, right? And I timed it. Let's try this. I should get some like, lubricant to lube it up, but let me show you guys. This spot right here is most likely what caused it. Because it's like it's not sitting flush, it's like pinch. So let's fix that. Just sticking my fingers and trying to like Fit that the grommet or like the rubber, the glide. I guess the, you call it the glide rails or something. The guide rails. Okay. Um, 
Okay. But most of it, just fill it, you know, just as long as it's even, then it should be okay. So let's roll it back down. Man, that's weird. I do want to probably go power windows too. Loosen it a little. And after that, we're going to bring it down and we're going to double check. We're going to double check the These are here. There's one on the other side also. So I'll pull that down where you can see it because the door has holes. Tight. So we're going to remove this. There's a hole right here, as you can see. Right next to this picture. It should be where we can get that screw. Issue is, I don't know, maybe fix. But let's see. It's okay, you know, goes up and down. Let me try to shine on this side. It's good on this side. So. No, it's getting tight. I might just need to grease my regulator. Yeah, it's either fucking dry, bro. Like, so I'll buy some grease on the way home, and then we'll do that. I don't know what happened to my door, but yeah, let's grease this. So that looks like the issue: grease and realignment. So I'll go buy some grease at thing. So you guys should be good. Put everything back. Vice versa, take this out, put the door panel, this little cover thing, snap all the clips back in, make sure all the clips are on the panel when you put it on, and just pull the bolts back and plug in the speaker. I'm gonna have to leave like this because I have to go, I have an appointment that I need to go to, so yeah. I'll show you. There's my door panel. Oh, scratching it up. I know. See, the clips are here. One right there. So, some are stuck to the car, some are stuck to this. So, you will have to pull it back out, stick it on here, and then put it back onto the car. Because you see how they're hooked on? So, just do that. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys can fix your car. And, um, yeah, let me know how it goes. Or if you need help.
Thanks.